Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am sharing with you all my current morning skincare routine. I do try to do this particular routine at least two to three times a week to give me some antioxidant protection and also help manage oils, breakouts, and congestion throughout the skin. This is a very, very chill, relaxed video. We are not diving deep into what each ingredient does or what each product does. I'm simply showing you all my current morning skincare routine. Before we begin with the video, however, I'd love to welcome all of those who have recently subscribed to my channel. Welcome. My name is Nadia and I love to test and review skincare products. Feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever there is a brand new upload. Now we can move on to the video. So I'm going to start by cleansing my skin with the Kopari Tropical Glow Cleanser, which looks like this. This asks that you dampen the skin and gently massage a small amount of cleanser into a light lather. You want to rinse with lukewarm water and glow on with your day. So I'm going to take a little bit of this cleanser. Take about this amount. I usually start my mornings um, by either walking Toby. or doing a workout in the morning. I'm gonna add a little bit more water here. So sometimes I will go in with this cleanser or with my Jamarini Bioglycolic Cleanser. I do wear a sunscreen when I go out on walks and when I work out in the morning as my bike is directly positioned in front of a window. I'm going to remove today's cleanser with this Good Molecules Little Mitt. I did recently uh, receive a facial, so my skin doesn't look too bad. Um, I have been suffering from some hormonal, stress-related, environmental breakouts, but it looks like for the most part they are on their way to healing. So I have removed my cleanser. I am going to tone the skin with the Drunk Elephant Sweet Biome Fermented Sake Spray. This contains fermented sake and sodium PCA. I did film a review on this particular spray. I will link it up above in case you missed it or would like to learn a little bit more about this toner. So that is that. As this kind of dries over the skin, what I like to do is, um, I have been paying a lot of attention to the delicate eye area and with the holidays, you know, coming up, I just want my eyes to look radiant, revitalized, tighter, not so tired. So when I work out in the morning, what I will do is I will shower, cleanse, tone, I will apply either one of my uh, Peter Thomas Roth Hydrogel Eye Patches. Today I am using the Cucumber Detox Hydra Gel Eye Patches. So what I do is I tone the skin, I apply my Hydrogel Eye Patches, I go downstairs, make my morning smoothie, my matcha green tea latte, get some more water, prep my lunch for work, then I come right back upstairs and then I do the rest of my routine and my makeup. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Usually I apply the thicker edge here along the orbital bone and my eyes aren't too puffy today. So 
I am actually going to just apply the thicker end here along the inner portion of the face for more depuffing, uh, more hydrating, and more revitalizing. If, say, for example, you are more concerned with your crow's feet, I would suggest applying the thicker end here along that area. Here they are. This is actually packed with serum, so sometimes I'll just tap a little bit of that serum over here. And then I'll apply my patches. So then I close this up. And then I do like to leave this on for about 10 to 15 minutes, however long I'm downstairs. So I'm going to let these process for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I will be back with the rest of my routine. So these have been on the eye area for about 10 minutes now. I am going to remove so that you can see just how radiant, hydrated, and revitalized the under eye area looks. Sometimes when I use these, I don't even have to use a highlighter just because it really does reach like the highest points of the cheek, so it just kind of radiant radiates um, some really nice luminosity. Next up, I am going to go in with the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant with Salicylic Acid. This is supposed to decongest and minimize the appearance of pores, smooth and even skin tone. Um, it is lightweight and it should absorb quickly. So I'm going to use this with a reusable cotton round. I typically try to use this about two to three times a week and I am working on a review. If the review is up, I will link it up above for you. Um, this is the third step according to the Paula's Choice uh, website. This is my reusable cotton round. And if you're a new follower, you should know that I have normal skin. I am prone to some breakouts, mostly hormonal. Um, and I do test a number of products, so some of them can uh, congest the skin a little bit more than others, but sometimes I usually do quite well. Um, and this is what the skin looks like. This is not sticky at all very lightweight um, and I only do like to apply it to this area here I don't think this area here needs any salicylic acid but some of you might I do have a number of clients who do kind of break out along here next I'm gonna go in uh, with the Paula's Choice C15 Super Booster this contains 15% ascorbic acid vitamin E and ferulic acid this I definitely say is best for all skin types. If you are dealing with dull skin, uh, this is a really, really good choice. I love that this does not contain any fragrance, um, any al drying alcohols or any sensitizing ingredients. Mine has sort of oxidized, but not too much. I do try to use about four to six drops of this over the skin. Do not bring the pipette onto the face. You want to apply the drops onto the palms of your hands and then work the product over the skin. So one, two, three, four, five, six.
I find that if I apply the product to the fingertips, it gets in the middle of the fingers and then it just, you know. That's why I'm applying it to the palms of the hands. And then just kind of apply the rest of the product onto the rest of the skin. So now the skin is just very radiant. Um, it is not, and not too sticky. And it's just ready for the rest of the day. You can look at how good a job these hydrogel eye patches did over the skin. For lips, I'm going to go in with the Paula's Choice Hyaluronic Acid and Peptide Lip Booster with Squalene. Love the applicator in this. Definitely included this in a favorites video and I'm still loving this actually. For sunscreen, I'm going to use the Murad City Skin Age Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 50. This is a mineral sunscreen with a peachy tint to it um, that should help to minimize the appearance of hyperpigmentation. And apply about this much. And then I'll be sure to bring more of the product down onto the neck. This is truly one of my favorite mineral sunscreens. She is pricey, but I really like it. Apply a little bit more on to the neck and decollete. And that is my skincare routine. I do try to do this morning routine at least two to three times a week where I use both my toner and the salicylic acid exfoliant to manage oils, congestion, and also minimize the severity of any breakouts. I have been loving this Paula's Choice Vitamin C Serum. Um, I love that it just has not irritated my skin whatsoever. My only con with this particular product though is that it does not minimize breakouts, which is why I like pairing it with this little guy. Yeah, let me know what products you have been using during your morning skincare routine in the comments down below. I'd love to know. Thank you all so much for spending some time with me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh shit. That is why you don't eat tortilla chips as you film.